Hey, good morning everyone. Nathan here with Cruise and Views. Hope you're having a, a fantastic weekend. Wanted to do a daily and um, talk a little recovery with you this morning. So let's do that. Oh, hello. Welcome. And this is out of my uh, daily meditation book, The God Grant Me from Hazleton. Okay, this is by uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson. Finish each day and be done with it. That's very sage advice. We often want to carry the worries or the successes of today into tomorrow. We put our heads on our pillows. We need to let go of that day. Each new day needs to begin with a fresh mind. Each new day deserves our full attention. The purpose of the 10th step is to allow us to concentrate our energies on the present. Worries past and future scatter our energies. Step 10 helps us keep our energies focused and available for today. So for uh, the prayer for the day, higher power, help me live in the present. Help me develop more and more willingness to live in the moment. And today's action action power. Today, I will use the 10th step to think about where I am with the world and change the things I can, let go of the things I need to, and recommit to living in the present. Ah, that's fantastic. So that 10th step on uh, Alcoholics Anonymous is a fantastic step. Um, it really allows someone to, like myself, obviously, allows me to uh, recenter when I uh, feel like I've done something um, that just really wasn't positive with my recovery program, if I maybe uh, offended someone, or if I'm just living in that past uh, or future tripping in in uh, you know tomorrow, what I get to do on that tenth step is really just admit my wrongs, admit my errors to that person, place, or thing, and then move forward. Uh, move forward in that present moment. That's all that we currently have. And I believe they call it the present moment because it is a present. It's a gift to us to live just for these uh, few precious hours that we have. Nothing is ever promised to us. Um, and living in that past is like an anchor. For me, that's all I did. That was something that really... Uh, it was my bondage. It was my uh, anchor that I carried for so many years was living in a past mistake, which was getting a second DUI in the state of Arizona back in uh, 2000. And that led me to live a life of uh, crazy alcoholism because I never wanted to face that second mistake. I never wanted to face that in the moment. So... I just drank that present moment and that mistake way past, you know, in, in the past, I used to just drink that away thinking that it would always be gone because alcohol made me feel quote unquote good in that moment. But all I was doing was just escaping the present moment. And it was because of my past behaviors and my past mistakes. Fast forward 15 years, 15 years of that second DUI of having, um, warrants for my arrest and a bench warrant and never being able to go back in the state of Arizona because if I got found or pulled over, I would go immediately go to jail. I actually faced that. I faced that last demon, that last skeleton in my closet, and it freed me so much uh, after doing that, after all that hard work, um, it freed me so much to live in that moment and never have to be, be held um, accountable of my past anymore because it was all done. I rectified it. Um, gosh, it was so freeing. And, and, and I really recommend to everyone that if you're holding on to something past mistakes, if you're holding on to something that, um, you know, you're bearing that, that, that burden, let it go, do what you need to do to, to let that past go um, and live in this present moment, vice versa, in the future, 
always thinking about tomorrow. No, like I said, no one's promised tomorrow. Nobody. We're only here right now. And I'm so grateful to be connecting with everyone right now. There was a, a guy once said at a meeting, he was standing at the meeting. He uh, said, okay, so his two feet are standing there. He said, if I put one foot back in yesterday and one foot forward into tomorrow, all I'm doing is pissing on the present moment. I know that's crass, but that is very true. Let's not piss on our present moments. Let's not waste our present moments on all of that past crap. Let's forgive ourselves. And then let's not waste it on all that present or on that uh, uh, tomorrow future tripping stuff. None of that is even planned. Let's just focus on today. And again, it really has helped me free myself just to be as present as I can with my family, uh, with my friends, and especially with everyone here at Cruise and Views doing our roads to recovery. All of our roads are different. All of our journeys are different, but we have one common thing, and that destination is recovery just for today. Again, I'm Nathan with Cruise and Views. If you like this, please like and subscribe. I'm really starting to see this roads to recovery grow and mature. I'm getting a lot of great positive comments. I really appreciate that. And um, I just want to wish everyone a very happy and successful weekend. We'll see you next week with a new video.